Oumuamua is the first known interstellar object detected passing through the solar system. Researchers at Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics made waves in the mainstream media after publishing a paper claiming the object may have had an artificial origin, presenting speculation that Oumuamua could have been sent intentionally to Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization. Stay tuned to find out more about this mysterious object detected by JWST. This theory is based on the object's excess acceleration or its unexpected boost in speed separate from the sun's gravitational influence. When astronomers first detected a weird cigar-shaped object speeding past the sun, they could tell from its route that it had come from another star system, but they couldn't figure out what it was exactly. A study published in the journal Nature indicates that the interstellar visitor dubbed Oumuamua is neither an asteroid nor an alien spacecraft, but a small interstellar comet. Comets, icy, dusty objects that have been linked to dirty snowballs, typically form long tails when they come close to the sun. No such tail was visible in earlier observations of Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian, a fact that helped lead other astronomers to conclude that it was an asteroid. But an analysis based on new observations made by ground-based telescopes and the Hubble Space Telescope yielded a surprise. Oumuamua's trajectory couldn't be explained solely by the gravitational forces exerted on it by the sun and the planets, as would be the case if it were an asteroid or space rock. Alan Jackson, an astronomer at the University of Toronto Scarborough, told Mac in an email that if Oumuamua is a comet, it must be one that lost much of its ice before leaving its home star system. A comet that has lost enough of its ice is essentially the same as an asteroid, he said. Oumuamua thus seems to be in that ambiguous region between the two. Jackson conducted previous research on Oumuamua, but was not involved in the new study. Whatever its precise identity, Oumuamua might be just the first of many such interstellar visitors we'll encounter. Jackson said new James Webb telescopes should help astronomers find a lot more objects like Oumuamua, and we will then be able to put together a more complete picture of what the building blocks of planets look like in other planetary systems, which will also help us to understand how planets form. According to NASA, when Oumuamua was closest to Earth, it was tumbling through the inner solar system at 196,000 miles per hour, 87.3 kilometers per second. That is over three times faster than the average speed of a main belt asteroid. Despite this, almost four years later, Oumuamua is still in our solar system. It's currently cruising between the orbit of Uranus and Neptune, covering a distance of 1,486,000 miles, 2,391,485 kilometers every 24 hours. It won't be completely out into interstellar space for another three years, highlighting how vast space really is. Astronomers expect it to pass Neptune's orbit in four years. Gigantic metallic object found in space. A team of scientists is mapping out a mission to the huge metallic asteroid Psyche, which is thought to be the exposed iron core of a battered and stripped protoplanet. The proposed mission would reveal insights about planet formation processes and the early days of the solar system, its designers say and would also afford the first ever good look at an odd class of celestial objects. Team member Lindy Elkins Tanton, director of the Carnegie Institution for Science's Department of Terrestrial Magnetism told Space.com that this is the first metal world humankind will have ever seen. I think this is an opportunity to do some fundamental science that hasn't been done before, she added. The 155 mile wide, 250 kilometers Psyche, which lies in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, consists largely of iron. Scientists think that the object is the nearly naked core of a protoplanet whose overlying rock layers were blasted off by massive collisions long ago. Psyche thus offers a unique opportunity to learn more about the interiors of planets and large moons, whose cores are hidden beneath many miles of rock, Elkins Tanton said. A robotic mission to Psyche would also help astronomers take the measure of metal worlds, a type of solar system object that scientists know very little about. The project would beam home the first photos and information ever gathered at such a body. We know a lot about snowy and icy bodies, but what about metal ones? Elkins Tanton said. What does the surface of a metal world look like? For example, she added, it's possible that material melted and blasted out by large impacts on Psyche solidifies in a sheet before being lost to space, causing metallic curtains of ejecta to jut from the rims of impact craters. Elkins Tanton said that the researcher's Psyche probe would orbit the huge asteroid for about six months, studying the object's topography, surface features, gravity and magnetic field, and other characteristics. This simulation shows a hit-and-run collision between two large asteroids, 
the kind of impact that could have stripped the rocky layers from the big metal asteroid psyche, exposing the protoplanet's iron core. Data gathered by the spacecraft would shed light on how planets began coming together in the first few million years of solar system history and improve scientists' understanding of the interiors of terrestrial planets such as Earth, she added. The team has been working on the concept for about a year and a half and plans to submit it during the next call for NASA Discovery class missions. Spooky object emitting energy in space. A team of astronomers discovered something unusual while mapping out the universe a mysterious object sending bursts of energy every 20 minutes. The object is around 4,000 light years away, and although that may seem far, its energy bursts were so big that it was one of the largest radio sources in the sky. The burst would happen for one minute every 20 minutes before it would disappear for a few hours, and then repeat the cycle. A peer-reviewed study on the discovery of the unknown energy source was published in the journal Nature. This object appeared and disappeared over a few hours during our observations. Natasha Hurley Walker, astrophysicist from Curtin University in Australia and lead author of the study said, That was completely unexpected. It was kind of spooky for an astronomer because there's nothing known in the sky that does that. The object was first discovered in March 2018 by Curtin doctoral student Tyrone O'Doherty using the Murchison Wide Field Array Telescope in outback Western Australia. The multi-million dollar telescope has a wide frequency and range field of view making it possible to spot something so far away. O'Doherty said it was exciting that the discovery turned out to be such a peculiar object. Astronomers have detected objects in space that turn on and off before, as they are typically the death of a massive star or what's left of one. Curtin astrophysicist and co-author Gemma Anderson said these flashes of light are called transients. But what makes this object unusual is that it doesn't behave like a transient. A slow transient would have energy bursts that occur over the course of a few days before disappearing for months at a time. Fast transients flash on and off within milliseconds or seconds, so seeing one flash for up to a minute would be unprecedented. The team does have guesses as to what it can be, but they still aren't exactly sure. One idea Hurley Walker has is that it could be an ultra-long period magnetar, a type of slowly spinning neutron star with a strong magnetic field. However, it was something thought to only exist theoretically. Nobody expected to directly detect one like this because we didn't expect them to be so bright, Hurley Walker said. Somehow, it's converting magnetic energy to radio waves much more effectively than anything before. Seth Shostak, senior astronomer at the SETI Institute, who was not involved in the research, compared the unknown object to a lighthouse in that the flashes of light indicate that it's rotating. He said that most astronomers would agree with Hurley Walker and that it's likely a dead star. He added there is also no need to panic. It's not alien intelligence trying to reach out to other parts of the universe because it is obviously natural, further stating that they have never seen anything like it before. Shostak noted that the eventual completion of the Square Kilometer Array Telescope, which would be the largest radio telescope ever built, will help astronomers examine space even more which may result in other objects like this being discovered in the future, and a concrete idea of what they are. Now that you've watched this video, let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the section below. Thanks!